Supart connected with so many people within the industry in his short life. And there were, of course, many rumours about the I Get Around rapper's relationships with various female celebrities. Speculation about the relationship between Tupac and Cheryl James, aka Sort, has been rife ever since Tupac's brief appearance in the video for the 1993 hit, What A Man. The two legendary rap icons were believed to have hit it off and developed a close bond back in the day. They remained close throughout the years leading up to Tupac's death. Many fans may be unaware that Tupac actually filmed for the What A Man video. Tupac was already a huge star when the video was filmed and rapidly gaining iconic status after releasing his platinum selling album to Apocalypse Now and starring in movies such as Juice and Poetic Justice. Both were hugely successful movies and established Park as a big screen actor as well as a musical talent. No doubt, getting Tupac to appear in the video would have made What A Man even more iconic. What A Man was a major hit for Salt and Pepper. Featuring En Vogue, it reached number three on the Billboard Hot 100 and they received the Grammy nomination for the song and three American Music Award nominations. They won one American Music Award for favourite soul stroke R&B single. What a Man charted top 10 worldwide and was certified platinum in the USA. The video was directed by Matthew Rolston, who also directed En Vogue's My Lovin and TLC's Creep. Here's the story behind the music video and the relationship between Salt and Tupac. In the early 90s, Pepper, aka Sandra Denton, was dating Tretch from Naughty by Nature. Tretch and Tupac were good friends, and Tretch introduced Tupac to Salt. Both Tretch and Park appeared in the Waterman video. Salt and Pepper got to pick their mighty good men for the video. Salt chose Tupac, and Pepper chose her boyfriend, Tretch who she would later go on to marry, but then divorce later. Tupac almost missed the video shoot because he got caught up in the incident involving the off-duty police officers, but many of Park's scenes were edited out. They only kept the clips where his face wasn't showing properly. Speaking to the Jasmine brand, Pepper explained the reason for this, saying, the record company all panicked and only kept shots where you can't see him. There were some great Tupac shots, and Salt always kicks herself. You can't fight the record company. She confirmed that Tupac's reputation was the reason for the decision. From the moment he came on the scene, controversy seemed to follow him. First, there was the incident involving the off-duty cops, where he faced charges for shooting at them. But he was eventually found not guilty. The Vice President of the United States at the time, Dan Quayle, condemned Tupac's album to Apocalypse Now, saying, there is absolutely no reason for a record like this to be published by a responsible corporation. Calling for Interscope to withdraw the record, he said, it has no place in our society. Quayle blamed Tupac's record for the death of a Texas state trooper who was shot and killed by a suspect who claimed to be listening to the album just before he committed the crime. In the song Soldier's Story, there were lyrics such as blasting and dropping the cop. Then, there was an incident in New York at the Parker Meridian Hotel in November 1993, where Tupac was accused of sexual assault. He was arrested and also brought up on gun possession charges. Tupac famously said, I had no record all my life, no police record until I made a record. Salt did confirm that the mystery man who she filmed with for the video was in fact Tupac, but they only showed the back of his head and deleted the scenes where his face was showing. Many fans till this day are still unaware that it was him. TLC, once they saw the What A Man video, they was like, we want, you know, whoever did that video. And Matthew Ralston ended up doing Creep, you know. So um, all of that coming together at the right time, you know, in our career, is to me what made that song take off. And then I had the wonderful opportunity to have Tupac as my love interest. I got to roll around in the bed for a couple of hours with Tupac. It was a labor of love, my dear. <laughs> Salt said she hates that he was cut out of the video, saying, quote, it really bothers me, end quote. Salt confirmed that it was actually because of his lyrics. 
And to settle the rumours, the only person in the group who was dating a rapper was Pepper. Silk confirmed that her relationship with Tupac was not romantic. In an interview with Rock and Bells, Salt said, quote, I remember being at a party one time and I was dressed in overalls or something. And he said something to me. A lot of ladies there were like half dressed and he was basically encouraging me to stay the way that I was. We had conversations where he told me he respected me. Nothing happened between us, but he met Corrine a couple of times. Corrine is Salt's daughter. In Tupac's 1993 single, Keep Your Head Up, he gives Corrine a shout out at the beginning of the song. Talking about the shout out, Salt said, he had this long conversation with her and I don't know, I guess she just struck him somehow. He called me this one time and said, by the way, I dedicated a song to Corinne. I never really understood why, end quote. Many who knew Park said he was good with kids. In 1993, Tupac received a letter from the parents of a dying boy named Joshua. They said it was Joshua's last wish to meet Tupac. Tupac flew to Maryland to meet Joshua and took him to a basketball game. Soon after Joshua's death, Tupac changed the name of his publishing company from Ghetto Gospel Music to Joshua's Dream. Tupac also met Lamika Early through the Make-A-Wish Foundation. She was actually supposed to meet Janet Jackson, but the meeting was cancelled at the last minute. So Tupac stepped in. Lamika, who was 14 at the time, was paralysed from the waist down. Tupac flew Lamika and some of her family members to California to join him on the set of Gridlocked. Afterwards, he took them to the recording studio and later hosted a private barbecue cookout at his house in honour of her. Tupac later donated a brand new audio system to her school and he stayed in touch with her and her family right up until his death. Tupac also took the daughter of a family friend to her high school prom. Salt was also another woman who Park wrote to from prison in 1994. They remained close friends and in contact throughout that period of his life. In the poem, he wrote the following, I'm not much for pretty words, and search, cause these days my pain is deep. But there is always pleasure to be found in the times of struggle and grief. If a tree can grow through New York concrete, then a thug can change his heart. If I can survive five deadly shots, we can discover light within the dark. I'm sure you have had times of misery. All of us experience hurt, but only the strong in spirit survive the wicked world for all it's worth. Tupac was released on bond in October 1995. Less than a year later, he was killed following a drive-by shooting in Vegas. He died on September the 13th, 1996. Did you know it was Tupac in the Waterman video? And did you know he had a close relationship with Salt? I would love to hear your thoughts about the poem too. Thanks for watching. Share your thoughts below, like and subscribe for weekly videos and don't forget to click the bell for more.